Dolly and Molly at the seashore. Dolly and Molly at the seashore. By Elizabeth Gordon. Pictures by Francis Beam. Rand McNally and Company. Chicago. Copyright, 1914. Dolly and Molly at the seashore. Dolly and Molly at the seashore. Dolly and Molly ran down, hand in hand, to the seashore, to play all day in the sand. The big waves came up with a rush and a roar, and just dashed themselves to bits on the shore. But no one was frightened. The twins didn't care, and the bayberry bush shook the drops from her hair. Said Mr. Sea Turtle, climb up on my shell, and I'll give you a ride. I can swim very well. But crabbed old lobster said, Dears, don't you go. Perhaps he can swim but he's terribly slow. The twins thanked him kindly, but said they would stay and roll in the sand and build castles in play. This made them as drowsy as drowsy could be, and then came along the old man of the sea. His two small sea urchins, he held by the hand, their funny sea legs are so wobbly on land. And Dolly and Molly both listen with glee to their wonderful tales of the things in the sea. He called to the Sandman and told him to see that Dolly and Molly went straight home to tea. Then the jolly old son smiled back from the west, and said, tis time for small girlies to rest. And grandmother kissed them, as grandmothers do, and shook out the sand from each little shoe. And when supper was over, and prayers had been said, she tucked them both up, in their little white bed. Three pretty sea horses came, then through the foam, the old man of the sea and the urchins rode home. The end.